Guidestone, located here in Elberton, Georgia. The story is that in 1979, a man who called himself R.C. Christian came and paid anonymously for these Guidestones. Well, you do a little research, and it'll lead you straight to the Rosie Cross and the Lucis Trust formed by Alice Bailey in the 1930s. A Luciferian organization with ultimate goals of world domination. The fact that most people in America today have no idea about the covert message of the Georgia Guidestones shows the degree of control that the people behind this conspiracy have exercised over this country. Now, if you look into this, it doesn't take you long to discover that R.C. Christian refers to the Rosie Cross of the Rosicrucian movement headquartered in New York. Also headquartered in New York is the Lucis Publishing Company, also known as many other names. What we're actually standing in front of here is not a monument or some religious prophetic message from some environmentally friendly group. No, what we are doing is standing in front of the symbolic tombstone for the New World Order who plans to cleanse the earth of us useless eaters and bring the human population down too. As you can see in their number one guide, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Now, that means a lot of us are going to have to die, which makes you kind of wonder. Elberton is the granite capital of the world. They already make more tombstones than anybody else. And this monument is located here. Draw your own conclusions. But Lucis is not limited to low-level Satanists. Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara prayed to the moon with these people. Their top member is Mikhail Gorbachev. The very rules that they write on the side of the Guidestones tell you what they have planned for the world. And whatever your political views are, whatever your socialist, environmental views of the world are, unless you are planning on being one of the 500 million left alive, you need to wake up and help us change it before it's too late. The message of the Georgia Guidestones is simple. Sustainable development. Those people who feel that we just have too many people on the earth, that they must get rid of us useless eaters and give nature back to nature. They say it there in their rules, the very last one, they even write it twice, be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. So Alex, I hope you can get this information out there to the people because it's important that we resist and we resist hard. Because if we don't act now, these guidestones could very well be our tombstones. The New World Order, they're right out there in your face telling you what they're going to do. Number one on the list, maintain humanity under 500 million. That's an awful lot of us have to die.
concludes the broadcast from World Control.